Alright guys, so right now we have the full summary breakdown of Dragon Ball Super, Manga Shadow number 63. And before I get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to Dragon Ball Hype on Twitter for posting this and translating it. So thank you so much for that, we really appreciate it. Anyways guys, let's get started. So the title of this chapter is Mirus's Resolution. So Jaco questions where Mirus has been all this time. Mirus then apologizes to Jaco, noting that many things have happened. Jaco says that Moro is now way beyond what they can handle as a galactic patrolman. Mirus explains that he understands and that he is here to finish training. Jaco says training and Mirus replies back, Son Goku's training. Jaco then notices that Goku and the others have banished. Speaking of which, I can't find Goku and the others. Where did they go? Moro questions just what Mirus is after realizing that Goku and the others are now missing. Where did they go? says Moro. I evacuated them away from the arena, Mirus replies to Moro. Then Moro tells Mirus to stop fooling around while he dispels his barrier. As the barrier falls, Mirus tells Jaco he is going to buy some time. He rushes to Moro and strikes him with his staff. Moro blocks and knows that he can't feel Mirus's life force energy. And then Moro says, your identity is that of a god, right? And then Mirus smiles and then he strikes Moro again. Moro dodges then goes to attack Mirus again, who dodges and extends his staff to strike Moro in the face. Moro halts himself as he's tossed away, wiping the blood from his lip, and then Moro says, I see. Jaco is in shock and can't believe that Mirus is this strong. Then the scene switches and Dende is gathered around everybody that has been damaged by Moro. And then at last, Beerus and Whis finally show up on the battlefield. And then Beerus doesn't care and then he entrusts everything to Dende. As Beerus prepares to leave, Whis asks him where he's going. Beerus says to Boma's place, obviously. He only helped these guys because he's in it to protect Earth's food. Beerus notices that Mirus is missing, while Whis seems wondering and he says Mirus must have somehow wandered off. Beerus doesn't mind because that just means more food for him. And then back on the battlefield, Gohan asks Dende if he's okay. Dende is overhealing Goku and says, Goku's wounds are too deep and his key has reached the realm of the gods, so it will take much more time for him to recover. I'll heal you too, Gohan. Please wait. And Gohan responds that he'll go last. First is Dad and Piccolo, and then Vegeta. Goku wakes up, a scar visible on his chest where he was previously wounded. Dende is relieved and Goku asks where Moro is. Dende says that he's currently fighting an angel. Goku is shocked. Certainly this angel must be Mirus. Goku wonders just what the heck he's doing and explains to Dende that it is not good. Angels disappear if they fight beyond just training. Goku asks Dende to take care of the others and thanks him before flying off. Mirus continues fighting Moro, the latter using Piccolo's eye beam, which gets blocked by Mirus's staff. Moro kicks the staff away and headbutts Mirus in the face before blasting him away with an energy blast. As Moro rushes Mirus, Mirus retrieves his staff and guards against another attack. Moro questions Mirus on why he's hiding his power and why he'd rather use his tools. Just then Goku arrives on the battlefield, shouting to Mirus' name. Mirus is relieved that Goku is back, and Moro is surprised. Goku yells at Mirus to stop, or else he will disappear. Goku tells Mirus to stand back. From here, I will be fighting again. He transforms back into Ultra Instinct Sign, and strikes out at Moro seemingly to no effect. Whis knows that Goku is using Sign once again, and Mirus wonders if he can win. Whis thinks that it'll be tough. Moro punches Goku away, but Miro stops him from clashing into the landscape. Moro mocks Goku, saying that he couldn't beat him before with that form. So how does he think he could do it now? Goku is upset. He can't bring out the Ultra Instinct properly, despite Miro's teachings. And Miro says that no, this isn't a matter of training. He just needs the trigger to complete it. While Goku and Miro's are standing there. Moro launches a surprise attack with his arm stuck through the ground. Moro attempts to grab Mirus by the neck to copy his abilities, but Mirus slices through the arm with his staff. Moro retrieves his arm and regenerates it, and Mirus says that Moro's copy ability is dangerous, so he at least wants to seal it up. Mirus then notices that Mirus is starting to use his angel powers and asks Whis if it's okay. Whis says that he can only act on Mirus's order. 
Beerus calls him sneaky because it is Beerus who the Grand Priest will be angry with. Beerus decides to go back. Moro charges back towards Miros and Goku, and Miros makes a speech, saying that he was born an angel. He's not good or evil, always meant to be neutral. Miros dodges Moro and pushes him into the ground with his telekinesis. Miros aims his staff and destroys the jewels on Moro's left hand. It seems that he's used some sort of sealing ability on Moro. Miros continues speaking, saying that even if a universe disappears, all he can do is watch on. However, as he was able to work alongside the galactic patrollers, before he knew it, something started sprouting within him, a sense of justice. As the fight with Moro goes on, Miros continues, the galactic patrollers might be elite on their own planets, but looking at it from the universal level, they're powerless, to the point there are so many more criminals who are stronger than them, breaking the galaxy's rules. However, they act out of fate. They're desperate to protect the galaxy. And then as the battle between Moro and Miros continues, Miros uses his staff like a rifle and snipes the jewel on Moro's other hand. As Miros starts to visibly disappear, he says, I don't want to lose the peace in this galaxy. Jaco cries out, noticing that Miros is becoming see-through. Miros tells Goku that upon meeting him and the others, made his heart become firm. Goku questions that what is Miros thinking, yelling at him to stop. Miros powers up, his angel ring becomes visible, as he states that this will likely be his last attack. Meanwhile, Beerus and Whis touch down, Beerus yelling at Miros that his body is already vanishing. Whis says that it's a shame, they're too late. Beerus thinks that Whis knew about this from the beginning, but Whis acts innocent. Beerus wonders what he will say to the Grand Priest, but Whis says they will think about it later. A powered up Miros rushes towards Moro. Goku shouts after him, but Miros keeps going remembering the time that they shared during their months of training. It was there Goku told Miros that strong guys always seem to be bad, and the only thing that he can do is to get stronger, to fight them many times and maybe those guys will change. Miros realizes that Goku reforms bad people and that there's those in the Galactic Patrol that think the same way. Goku says that he's not in it for anything worthy like that. And now back on the battlefield in the present, Moro forms a massive energy blast and throws it at Miros, but Miros cuts right through it, surprising Moro as he goes to form another. But before he can do so, Miros punches Moro straight in the head, shattering the last jewel that Moro had on his head. Then Moro crashes to the ground in pain while Miros starts to turn into dust. Goku and Jaco are shocked, and Miros tells Goku, Goku, with your current power, if you complete Ultra Instinct, it will be far more stable than before. If your opponent is Moro or whoever else, you will not lose. Jaco asks Goku to explain just what is going on, but Miros continues to fade away. His last words to Goku, this galaxy I loved, this universe full of excitement, please protect it. As Miros banishes completely, Jaco is in shock. Beerus knows that he disappeared, and Whis says that as a shame, he was a clumsy younger brother. And then in the final panel of this manga chapter, there is Goku, visibly upset with his back turned. And then the chapter ends right there. And I guess this pose is very similar to Goku's awakening of Ultra Instinct. And it was very similar to when we first seen the image of Goku's Ultra Instinct during the Tremor of Power. And his back was also turned there as well. And the same thing is happening right now. Anyways guys, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are better to this channel, be subscribed for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day my friends.